So here we're working on a Stell TS400. Uh, great little saw. They've been around forever. Very reliable. I love these saws. Um, using this one for concrete. And this is the water attachment to add a garden hose to water down what you're cutting. Didn't work for me because I was using uh, uh, cutting stone on scaffolding and that for my barbecue. So the hose would get in the way and it, and it leaks and makes a mess. So I put up with the dust. Problem is that the air filters get dirty right away and it starts bogging down the machine. Just starts choking it out. Now I've replaced these filters before and the guys I buy my filter off have always asked me why because they never ever replace the filters they just clean them out. So we'll show you how to clean these filters out just pull the back housing off. Inside you'll find a foam filter uh, that's your pre-filter if anything replace that one. Underneath that is the paper filter pull that out with number 25 Torx uh, four screws pull it out even and just blow it out until you stop seeing the dust and this maintenance should be done pretty well every time you use the saw uh, in concrete or in dusty situations the next thing is the belts start to slip uh, your belt could be worn or it could just be uh, needs to be tightened to tighten it this whole housing actually moves back and forth so uh, before you replace the belt just crack these bolts loose and this is your tensioner right here so if you turn it there's a little arrow if you turn it to the back it takes all the tension off of the belt if you leave it forward the tension stays on the belt so just by loosening these three bolts and letting the housing slide forward might tighten up the belt enough that it stops slipping if it does need to be replaced then uh, it's very straightforward uh, take the tension off the belt first then remove your three bolts and this whole housing right here will come loose and then you're able to take the three Torx bolts out at the back and take this back housing off. Now, uh, they are Torx number 20, but slowly in Canada we migrate all our bolts and screws to Robertson's because they're the best head design that's ever been out and you poor Americans don't get the chance to use those Robertsons. When we're jerks we assemble stuff and use that and ship it to you guys because you guys don't have those screws from what I understand along with ketchup chips and dill pickle chips and milk in bags. <laughs> so take that cover off then that's uh, very straightforward just replace your belt put your back housing back on again leaving the tension off then putting the head back on again, uh, keeping the tightening up the three bolts, just tighten them and then back them off half a turn, put the tension on the belt and then just tighten the three again and away you go. The spark plug can also be changed. Uh, to do that you need to pull this top housing off, very straightforward, all the torque screws at the on the top here. We just did the, this not too long ago and then pull your spark plug out and get it replaced. Um, highly recommend this machine. I uh, haven't really used anything other than these TS400s and the 440s and uh, they've done everything that we could throw at this thing. So you can see this one's been around the block a few times and uh, very, very good machine. So here we go. Hey, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because you never know what you're going to see next week on DeBoss Garage. If you like what you see, there's a lot of stuff happening to help support the channel. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.